Welcome guys, welcome back to another let's play of Hogwarts Legacy. You know it's gamers key and as always smash that subscribe button, like, you know, share. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Harry Potter fans out there who would love to see this new game. They're as exci excited as I am. Alright, so this is my character, you know, James Godrick, you know, you know. For those Harry Potter fans, you know where I got these names from. So let's just get right into it. Um, in the last episode, pretty much finished, got started, and we picked Gryffindor naturally, right? So let's get into it and see what's next. All right. Doesn't seem like there's much to do in the room. So I pretty much just woke up in a room. We spent the night in Gryffindor, and yes, I'll probably do another playthrough um, with different houses at some point. But for this one, I'm definitely going to be using my favorite house, Gryffindor. Alright, so let's see what this game has in store for us. Oh, wow, that's... Huh. Am I going up? Find your common room. I need to head to my common room. Sounds as though there are some voices coming from nearby. Perhaps I should follow them. Alright. Oh, Minimap. Revelio. Wow. Go up. Now, which way is the common room? Could be down. Ah, uh, it's actually down. Up. Revelio. Let's go here. Ah. Okay, then we go down. So I guess we can level up. Starting homeworks in your fifth year. I can hear you, man. I can hear you. What's this? Uh, all right, let's. I really like in the details they have placed in this game. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Introduce myself. All right, three persons. Let them through. Ah, uh, she's up there. He's over there. Let's start with this. Who does Person Nelly think she is anyway? In trouble the first day. While I remember. Still I not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? 
I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Generals, do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Okay. Wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. All right, so that's was meeting Cressida. Let's see. All right, who else do we speak to now? I tried to hide a puff scheme once. That girl the thinks she can get away with it. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. Nothing worse than students practicing jinxes on each other in the common room. You can't take a step for fear of having your legs turned to jelly. I find its location. Who does Nelly think she is anyway? Nelly will do anything for a thrill. Professor could arrive any moment. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What are people saying about my travels here? What exactly are the rumours about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five, still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds. You don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. All right. Hey, there are things we can interact with. I have a globe over here. If I didn't have that fireplace to sit next to, I think I should be terribly homesick. Have a sip. Go on. I enjoy my weekly visits to Dogweed and Dusk. I find I'm more comfortable around plants than people, to be honest. Huh? Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. Weasley. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figg's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. That must be nice. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? 
Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year, keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well, and she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Hmm? Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though. I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. All right, what's next? Meet Professor Weasley outside the common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Right, I'm keeping ah, up. The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. This is easy. You're swinging your hips, though. Simply cast Revelio on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Ooh. This portrait depicts Wizard Profilio framed for his brain elixir and the example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. You've unlocked the field guys challenge. Your progress towards completing the challenge is a prayer here. Nice. Field guide challenges are now the only way to acquire experience points. Uh, okay. This is your wizard level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. So I'm level one. Your field tracks your current challenge progress, select the challenge. Right. Wow. Collecting your first guide page unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. 
Select the guide. Field guide page to continue. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlocked at each tier you complete from appearance to critical upgrades. You must be rewards must be cleaned from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Alright. isn't it <laughs> keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle is this mrs norris no. No. no time to waste you've classes to attend Which passage? And where is the one eyed witch? Uh -huh. is this the one? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You can open the map at any time to fast travel. There we go. It's wondering how you get the map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. It includes common houses and the Great Hall. Okay. So I'm here. And I need to get to... Where? Oh, to get to... Select the south wing. In this view, you can see the flute flames available in that region. You have discovered, including your own house, gray, undiscovered. Nice. Right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall of flu flames for you. Use that. Press X. Fast travel. Best way to get around. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Professor Howell. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. 
Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Heckert in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... Exploring ruins. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. This represents the main quest. Complete the main quest with further the story, unlock new features, and gain XP. Some quests are locked by spells or level requirement. In these cases, you will need to be re at the required level or cast a required spell to activate. New spells can be earned by completing preferences of assignments or a quest. Track a quest with A. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to charms class first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and yeah. a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. Challenge unlocked. Likely powerful spells for the challenge compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Oh, there it is. Nice. I try telling Hector there's something in there. I just know it. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos! That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Yeah, that's a picture of what? Staircase and a statue. Huh. Maybe I'm supposed to find that place and then. When my grandfather went to this, didn't doubt. Guess I'll find it in my walk ins. Bet she did better in potions than I'm doing in herbology. As far as I can see, the only potion worth learning is the King's Draft. Best time for the history of magic. If I transfigure my poor toad into a goblin, one more time. This looks like the location from the painting. Yeah. What could be so special about it? Revelio. I'm the painter from medieval wizard Gregory the Shamari. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory Octos. Potion that makes a drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Okay. Uh, what do I do with this? Lumos, let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh. There we go. I don't find potions bearable at all. If it's double potions, I question whether I would just rather be a monk. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Level 
too. Where is Lenora? Around here. I spent all night working on my history of magic essay. Almost spent sleeping class today. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Alright. Small side quest, but let's get back to it. Charms class, here we come. Wow, that's a lot of stairs. defense against our act. Ah, another one. Lumos. That painting. It's here somewhere, right? Peeves or something? Oh, this is really trippy. That must be peeves, man. We'll get back to that one. Professor one Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. To Some of us don't necessarily want him to go back to the lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Uh, Hello, from Nigeria. I am Letty. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference 
between the incantations of the color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Alright, he's very delightful. Excited about charms. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so, why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice Accio. is the best, Professor. Very good. Stay focused. Excellent control there. That's it. Happens to the best of us. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as... ...for, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Akio. There we go. Excellent. Let us see this. Mm. 
Well done. Watch this. That is how it's done. Let's see if I can do this one. Ready? Here. Stop. Right there. Nice. A perfect score. Remarkable. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. I just walked through This me. round settles it all. Be sharp. There we go. This one. That's it. Very good, both of you. Well done. And did I get house points for that? Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. 
not to mention quite convenient if one is without their want. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a word humans, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Alright, how do I get back into that challenge? Let's see. Where was it? Alright, here we go. Challenges. Uh, quests. Dear parents. Completed. Alright, let's see what happens here. Okay. Alright guys. Not gonna make these videos uh too long. So I'm gonna pause this here and then I'll pick up in another episode. Alright guys, so as always, like subscribe and you'll definitely be seeing more of Hogwarts Legacy. So I'll catch you in the next video.